So in this video, I'm going to look at actually creating a part and pocketing the part and using the path workbench to actually create a tooling path around that part to remove the material. So I can actually cut it on my CNC machine. But we will come across a few problems uh, while we do this. Um, and I'm going to show you actually how to fix and solve those issues. Some of them are down to user error and some of them are actually down to actually bugs in FreeCAD itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a simple path. Um, sorry, create a simple model with two slots in. So I'm going to file new and I'm going to jump over to the part designer and I'm going to create the body and create a sketch. And I'm going to select the XY plane. So now I'm just going to quickly create a sketch in here and it's going to be a rectangle with a rectangular path within. That's all I need. So from there I can actually jump back into our part designer, which I'm already on, and pad that path using the, uh, the patch selected sketch. And I'm going to take the defaults there of 10 mil. So we've got a slot running right the way through our object here. Now also, um, I'm going to have a slot that's going to run half the depth of the material as well. But first things first, I'm going to actually pad this slot. So we'll go over to our model, making sure our sketch is inside our body, otherwise we wouldn't be able to pad it. So we know that. And jump over to the path workbench. and click on the create a path job object, select OK and we're going to take the defaults and you'll see the reason why. So now using the Alt key I can actually move the mouse and swing this model around so I can actually see each of the faces inside here. So if I highlight, highlight this section here, that's a face as you can see all these are faces, so there's four faces inside here and we need to select them all so if we click on a face using the alt key we can actually move the model to our next face hold down control and select the face and now you can release your control key and click alt to move the object and we just repeat so now all our faces have been selected we can actually pad this uh, sorry uh, pocket this uh, this object so we can now select our create a path pocket object from a face or faces so we select that one click apply and ok and you'll see that what should happen we should see our path to actually a tooling path to actually pocket this up here, but nothing's actually happened. And the reason being is to do with the default tool, the actual size of it. So if I double click my default tool, you can see how big this default tool is. It's, it's too big for the actual pocket itself. So this is the reason why you're not getting a path in here, a tooling path. So we can just change this by going to tool and the diameter. As you can see, that is a very small piece. So I'm going to change this to one, and I'm going to change the cut and height to about three millimeters. If we hit OK, you can now see that we have our pockets uh, tool path within. So this is good. So this is this is actually now taken. So that might be a, a problem that you come across is that you've run into the program and you're just trying out things. You, it's the first time you've been in there, you're trying out things and you want to get this path up and working just to see how it, uh, what it looks like and uh, the operations of FreeCAD and you, you, you fall up this hurdle. 
I did and it was because I was rushing into it not looking at the dimensions and finding that I've made my piece too small for the actual uh, tool that I've actually set up in the FreeCAD. So for the next step I'm going to actually show you how to create a pocket in, in the actual existing model. Um, so we're going to create a similar pocket but only go down half the material. So down 5mm. So to do that is quite easy. So we select the face that we want to actually place the pocket or slot on and we'll need to jump to the part designer and create sketch create a new sketch here okay so our face has been selected and what we'll do is create a slot here a rectangle jump over to the part designer and close that so now we're in the part designer we can now make sure our sketch has been selected and it's also inside the body so if it's outside it won't actually take effect and we'll select pocket and we're going to go down the default there is 5 so that's good now this one is quite is much easier to actually uh, pocket if we're only going down halfway because the bottom face we can actually select for our job um, I'm going to do that now so if I jump back into our off selecting the model and what I'm going to do now is select the face and click on our create a path pocket from a face or faces and apply and straight away we can actually see that that's been uh, pocketed out so that was quite an easy way of actually adding, adding a pocket. Now we can simulate this jo these jobs by clicking on the uh, simulate path G code on stock. We'll see our two jobs here, a tool bit, and hit play. And we can see what our uh, our actual simulation is going to do. So this is what's going to happen on our CNC machine. So to me we're using the zigzag cut here we can change that and to me that's actually uh, insufficient for this slot because we're going to get jagged edges so I would use a uh, a circular cut in this slot myself to actually allow this to uh, to be a much neater finish so now we're moving on to our other slot here so which will only go down halfway Again, we're having a zigzag uh, cut in this. Uh, that can be changed per job, so we can actually select these individual jobs, uh, individual operations here, and actually change the um, the um, pattern of cut. So I can do that here. Operations, pocket shape, and we can see the pattern here is zigzag. So we can have it spiral apply that and we can see we've now spi uh, apply the spiral cut to that which will make a much cleaner cut and we can do the same with this one spiral okay you can see that one hasn't actually applied the reason being is that we've got an error on this so pocket shape failed to create face from wires so what I'm going to do is just delete that pocket shape yes and delete the cut material and I'm going to select these faces again and 
just redo this operation. Now it may have been because of the tooltip change that caused this this uh, this operation to fail. Oops. It doesn't take a a minute, especially if you're uh, using the presser buttons on the keypad to actually select the faces. There we go. And we'll grab a path plugin. And okay. So now, so we've got a zigzag cut. So we'll just change this to the spiral. Apply that. And okay. So we just apply the path again. All was good. Okay, so that's uh, there's hit a few problems there, so that was easily uh, resolved. So in the next act, next video, we're going to actually import a SVG and actually use that to extrude and pocket, and I'll show you that shortly.